What's up guys, it's Spatula here, and today we are back with another speed build, and I am so excited for this speed build because we finally have the new update with bunk beds. That's right guys, The Sims 4 finally has bunk beds in it, so we can finally like have our children sleep in bunks and stuff and I am so glad I used them in this build obviously but I'm just like so happy for this update um so this build that I made is pretty much just like your basic suburban home I didn't want to do anything like too complicated or anything I actually uh kind of was inspired by a picture that I found just on like Google Images, whatever. I initially had been building a different house um, from based on a different picture, but that one the roof was like super complicated. It was weird because it had like the roof line. It was two stories and it had the like two story roof go down, um, and then it was connected to this part of the house that was one story, and then it connected down and went down on the porch. And so it was, like, really hard to figure out in The Sims. So I just scrapped that. I was like, that's kind of crazy. Maybe a little too much. <laughs> so we'll just go with something a little simpler. So I just made this uh, one-story little suburban house. And I think it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with it. And so while I was building this, actually, I was watching some, like, movie commentary kind of videos. Um, I really like that stuff. I like watching movies a lot, and then I like to see commentary on it. And so I was watching this one video that was talking about Frozen and Tangled, which I like love Disney movies. And they were like saying that Tangled is better than Frozen. And you know, I don't know how I feel about that because obviously I love Disney movies, and those are like two like super great movies, some of my favorites. So I was like, I don't know, which one really is better? So naturally, I just started watching Tangled because that is what I do on a Tuesday night when I'm in college is watch Disney movies, not do my homework. <laughs> I, I build Sims houses and watch Disney movies because I am a good student. And then I was like, you know what? I think he's right. Like Tangled is such a good movie and I feel like it's like low-key underrated because it's so funny and like Flynn Rider is hot. You don't come at me. You can't dispute it. He's hot. And like, I don't know, it's overall just such a good movie. Um, although I do still think that Frozen 2 is better, but don't come at my movie opinions. I probably have terrible like movie opinions cuz <laughs> honestly, my my three favorite movies are Frozen 2, The Greatest Showman, and, like, Cars 3. I, I know. Cars 3 <laughs> is such a good movie. If you haven't seen it, you need to go watch it, like, right now. It's so good. Um, and, like, it's so much better than, like, Car Cars 2 is not great. Like, that was just a money grab by Disney, and they had some, like, stupid plot line with, like, spies and stuff and, like, going around the world. I don't know kind of dumb. I've only seen it like once because it's honestly not worth my time. But Cars 3 is an excellent movie. It's got like a great storyline. It, it has like meaning to it. Cars 2, like oh my god, they're spies. So meaningful. Whatever. Cars 3, like they have the whole story of Lightning McQueen like retiring and then like passing along his knowledge to this new racer and it's just Oh, such a great movie. 10 out of 10. Recommend watching. 100%. Anyways, back to the build. So I made this into a three-bedroom house. So this is going to be a teen's room. I just kind of did some generic kind of pinky colors. I really, really love that bed from Seasons. Like, that is one of my favorite beds. I honestly want that to be my bed, except for my room is tiny and is definitely not big enough for a d double bed. Like, <laughs> I can barely fit a twin-size bed and a dresser and a desk in there and a bookshelf. Like, 
there is no way I could fit a bigger bed in my room. Although it would be nice because I sleep with my cat at night and he takes up so much room. He's very large and he likes to sleep on my face. So <laughs> that's not super fun. Uh, and then I love that mirror that I used right there. I lo That mirror is like the best thing to come out of Jungle Adventure. I mean, that pack is like fine or whatever, but that mirror is excellent. And I want a mirror like that in my room. You know, honestly, this is just like my dream room, Loki. Except for with like a bookshelf. I didn't put a bookshelf in here. Actually, I don't think I put a bookshelf in this build. I maybe should have added that. I know I thought about it. And then I just didn't ever find a, the right spot for it. So, I don't know. You can download it off the gallery and put in a bookshelf yourself. Because you can find this on the gallery at Spatula Games. If you're interested in. I think it's a pretty cute house. It definitely uses a lot of packs because I own all the packs because I'm obsessed with The Sims. So if you don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will try to like limit what packs I use maybe in the future, but I just get excited. There's so much like fun things in the packs. And now here is where the bed, the bunk beds are used. Uh, so I made this uh, kids room probably for like two kids because obviously there's two beds. I was initially gonna do like a desk under it, but I watched some other simmers videos today and they were kind of like looking at the bunk beds and like apparently you can't put other stuff under the bunk beds yet because they have like the loft beds, but you can only have like other beds under there. It does work if you just have it in the one tile, but I don't really like any of the one tile desks. I think they're all kind of ugly and so I decided to just make it like two kids and just have the dumple beds. Um, also, these posters, they added a bunch of new color swatches to those, which is super exciting. They have a lot more diversity in like the characters because before I'm pretty sure they were just like all white characters, which like isn't great for a game that like <laughs> celebrates diversity and like it's supposed to represent life to just have like all these posters and also they didn't have any other colors it was just like the one color that they came with so that is super great that they have finally updated that and then here are the bathrooms I am not super creative with making bathrooms not gonna lie so <laughs> they're kind of just the same thing except for one is attached to the hallway and then one is attached to the parents room as a little ensuite uh, they have pretty basic color scheme so like whoops and then I also used the other seasons bed for the parents room and then the same seasons curtains honestly seasons is such a good pack <laughs> like I love all the furniture in that I love both of the beds they're two of my favorite beds in this game and those curtains are so gorgeous like they just fill up the wall space and they look so nice over the windows so I had to use those, especially since I used all the doors and windows from that pack, so it's like, might as well just, like, get all the stuff that I can out of it. And as you saw, I was, when I was choosing a painting for that, I was looking through other, some of the other paintings where they added some new swatches. So, like, the painting of Jerry, that little, that one painting that just had, like, the guy's face. We call him Jerry. I don't remember where that came from, but that's just what people call him so that's Jerry and they added a bunch more like portraits of various people a lot of diversity which is super amazing so happy the sims is doing that so yeah and the parents room is like kind of weirdly shaped I think I wasn't really totally sure what to put like over in that other corner on the other side of the room from the bed I first thought like maybe a tv in their room or something but there wasn't really a wall for it because the one wall well like the two two of the walls have windows on it and then the other wall was kind of way too small to like fit a tv on it and then I didn't want just like a tv stand in the middle of the room because I felt like that would kind of take up a lot of space and like this room it's big but it's not super wide it's just like really long so there's not actually as much space as it like kind of seems there would be so I just put a little couch in there and thought like that works it fills up some space and honestly having a couch in your room would be really nice <laughs> so 
Yeah, and then I just put a little lamp and a plant in the corner to kind of fill some space. I love that lamp too. I think it's super cute. Honestly, this is kind of my dream house. Like, if I ever buy a house in the future, I would love to own this one. Although, it would be kind of nice to have a two-story house, some more room, but this house is pretty great, not gonna lie. You know, not to brag or anything. <laughs> yeah, so this house, kind of good. Love it. So great. Oh my gosh. So, this week, I have been not vibing with my Spanish class recently. So, well, this was like mostly my fault. Last night, I literally spent like four hours doing Spanish homework because so every week we get like all of our assignments on Tuesday is like when they're all assigned and then they're all due the next Monday so we have like seven days to do them and so this past week I did none of my Spanish homework like I just completely ignored it and so last night uh, it was Monday as I'm recording this on Tuesday and <laughs> I spent so long doing all of it and oh my goodness I this is my last semester that I have to take of Spanish because at my school we have to take like four semesters of a language but I took some Spanish in high school and so I tested it into a higher level I tested into like the third semester and so I took that last semester and then this is the fourth semester of Spanish sorry that's a lot of semesters if that makes any sense um so this is my last semester that I have to take which I am so glad about because I am so done with Spanish like learning languages is not easy for me and also I'm kind of a lazy student so like I don't I don't do the work it's too much for me <laughs> like and also for some reason my Spanish teacher this semester she made everything due on Mondays last semester it was all due on Sundays and then we would start the new week start on Monday and then it would like go as a normal week so I don't understand why everything's now due on Mondays I mean it feels like I get an extra day then to do it but also we have class three times a week and so we have like two classes that we have to like speak in Spanish the whole time and then one class that's like a lecture during the week um, they're all on Zoom, obviously, because there's a pandemic, so <laughs> super fun, but so the classes, the one on Monday is supposed to end the week, which is so strange because it's like the beginning of the week, and then the next day, the class on Tuesday is like the beginning of the new week, and it's such a confusing schedule, and I don't know why they didn't just have it like start on Monday, like a normal thing, but my spring break is in two weeks and we still have class like the Monday of spring break at least uh, like on the calendar that's what it says so which is so weird because we're not supposed to have class at all like during spring break because it's spring break I know a lot of colleges canceled spring break which sucks so much like oh I don't know how they think that kids can just go for a whole semester without any breaks I know they had like wellness days and stuff which one day off is not a day off because teachers aren't going to be like oh or professors aren't going to be like oh you don't have to do homework that day like you still have all your assignments due like you need a full week off and also my Spanish class still has assignments to do over spring break and I'm like ma'am senora profe like it's supposed to be a break we aren't supposed to get homework over spring break i need a break <laughs> but also they pushed their spring break back so far it's now the week after easter instead of like in mid-march when it initially was so now we're only gonna have like three weeks after three weeks of the semester left after spring break it's just it's so weird i this pandemic has like not been it and I am so glad that like vaccines are here I got vaccinated back in February February 2nd I think is when I got my second dose 
because uh, I work at a nursing home. So I was able to get it early, but I'm so glad that, like, everyone's getting it now, and soon, like, hopefully soon, everyone will be vaccinated so that this pandemic can hopefully be over. I don't know how things will, like, work after, like, everyone's vaccinated, but hopefully we will be done with this whole pandemic thing because I am so sick of it. But my college also did say that we are going to have all in-person classes next year. So I'm hoping that is good news and that everything will be better. Anyways, here you can see I am doing the living space. So this like floor plan on this house was kind of weird because I wasn't really sure like where to put the bedrooms and then where to put like the living space because I thought maybe like some bedrooms on either side of the house would be good especially because that like one area is kind of weirdly shaped where like the tv is and stuff so it's like that could maybe be a good bedroom but then I didn't want to have like a bunch of the living stuff just like in the middle of the entryway because I thought that would be kind of weird so I just had the bedrooms off to the side and then I had the living area off to the other side um because I thought that worked better and I know it's like kind of squished, like the living room is kind of squished like in next to the kitchen, but I wasn't really sure where else to put it, so I thought that would make the most sense, and that's also why I switched to have just an island instead of like a peninsula in the kitchen, because it takes up less room, and it doesn't like stick out, and then the, have the bar stools like stick out to where the living room would be. And also that table set is from the update like the one before this most recent one where they added a bunch of stuff that CC creator custom content creators made into the like the actual base game which I think is such a cool thing I don't have a lot of build custom content because I like to make builds and then like upload them to the gallery for like everyone to use and I know that a lot of people who like don't have built custom content as much but I do have a lot of uh, create a sim custom content because like most of my sims I don't like upload them to the gallery or anything so they're not really for like people to download I just make them for myself so I really like to have a lot of clothes and stuff and especially hairs like I don't know I like to make my sims look pretty and sorry sims team but like not a lot of the um clothes that comes in packs are super pretty although it does make sense that like a lot of the packs don't have clothes that you know are every day kind of wear you know for example like the star wars pack you're not gonna have some cute high-waisted skinny jeans or, or like mom jeans or like a cute top that all your sims are gonna wear every day because it's Star Wars themed you want it to fit in with Batu and Star Wars and stuff so it makes sense but I do wish that they would add in some more like clothes that are in fashion right now especially because this game came out in I think it was 2014 right so a lot of the clothes that they have in the base game are like 2014 fashion and that's not in style anymore a lot of, a lot of it is still like decent and still works but a lot of it like really isn't the style and like so much of it isn't super high-waisted which like high-waisted is such a trend right now and honestly I love it I want all of my clothes to be high-rise low-rise is a horror and no thank you <laughs> I do not need that so I don't know it's it would be nice if they added some more clothing pieces that are just kind of in style but I'm really glad that they are working with some custom content creators now to add some new pieces so here's some screenshots of the house I think 
it turned out really cute. It's obviously pretty simple, just suburban house. But I'm really glad I got to use those bunk beds. Finally, we have bunk beds. Yeah, and you can, I mentioned this before, but you can download this on the gallery at Spatula Games. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Spatula Games as well. And like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time with another new video. Bye!